Hey, Sam. Hey. What's going on? Hey. Hi. What's up? Nothing, really. That was cool. Good, I guess. I aced my quiz. Oh, good job. Great. Oh, shoot. Did you forget your keys again? Again? I hope not. That's the second time this week. At least it's sunny outside. And there's no rain. Why don't you just call your parents? The thing is, at school, during Spanish, I got my phone taken away. But I didn't even take it out. Were you on it? No. Then why'd she take it away? I think she's out to get me. Hey. Did you hear something about that girl that puked during class? Yeah, yeah Susie. She, she, like, puked all over Mrs. Keller's class. It was disgusting. And I heard that it was a weird oh, color, Okay, too. let's not talk about it. Ew. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> We have a science project. Oh, a science project? That sounds cool. What kind of science project? Where you, like, put two liquids into a balloon and pop it. Really? And what happens? It, like, fizz. It just fizzes. It just fizzes? Okay, that sounds like fun. Is Susie your partner for this one? No, she's sick. She's sick? Huh. I have to call her mom and find out what's going on. Yeah, a lot of people are sick in her school. Really? How do you feel? Good. Good. I don't want you catching anything, too. So, how was that uh, math test you were so worried about? It was good. It was good? Do you think you passed? Yeah. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. I know you did. You worked hard, you studied, and you're my daughter. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> when is Dan going to be home? Hmm. Sweetie, I thought we talked about this already. Your dad, he, he's just very busy right now and he doesn't know when he can get back here to see you. Is it something I did? Oh no, baby, of course not. 
your dad, he, he has to work a lot. He's a very busy man and he's out there making lots of money and connections and he loves you and it has nothing to do with you. You're perfect, okay? And you know what? Dad's not here, but you have me, okay? Anything you need, I'm here for you. Everything I have is yours, okay? Okay, we'll get through this, okay? I promise. I've been working here a long time. Never had a race. These people have never worked a day in their life. I can believe that. You understand? Yes. All right? This should be my house, not theirs. With all the hard work I've done, this should be my house, not theirs. So do me a favor, get the stuff out of the shed, start putting it around the pool, and as soon as you get that done, we're going to start uncovering the pool. All right? So do, do that fast, okay? All right? Now, then do next. All right? Okay. These rich people, they don't know what a raise means. Fellow scientists, I'd like to uh, report this morning that uh, as of early this morning, we are one step closer for finding a cure for cancer with the R10 vaccine. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Schwartz, uh, who will enlighten us further. Doctor. As you know, our team's been working very hard. We've all been working. You've all been working on this. We are one step away from the cure for cancer, gentlemen. One step away. We're almost there. Mr. Hughes, how are you, sir? Dr. Kirschheimer, I understand you had a little breakthrough in that uh, playground of yours. Is that true? Yes, it's wonderful news. We are one step closer. Dr. Schwartz and I couldn't be happier. Still playing God over there? Well, I don't know if it would be called playing God. We do our best here to try to help uh, the world curing illnesses. And you're a big part of that, and we appreciate that. When are you going to learn that this world lives off the sickness of greed? Well, Mr. Hughes, you know, I've known a couple of people like yourself over the years. One friend in particular, Dr. Kieran, famous uh, surgeon, cardiology. And he was an innovator, I'll say that. And I went to visit him on his deathbed when he was dying in the hospital, uh, in hospice, actually, in Mount Vernon. And just before he died, he said to me, please pray for me. Now, everyone turns their self around at some point in time. Now listen to me. You're gonna be at my house tonight if you want my continued support. Is that Crystal? Well, I thank you for your continued support and Dr. Schwartz and I will look forward to our meeting tonight at 8 p.m. Okay, Mr. Hughes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Waldo, when these scientists leave my house tonight, I want you to get the jet ready. We're leaving. <laughs> ah, Dr. Kirschheimer, Dr. Schwartz. Mr. Hughes. How are you, sir? Good. I uh, want to first uh, thank you for uh, inviting us to your home, I must say. Uh, we've never been here before. We've been doing business for quite a lot of years. And we uh, both, on behalf of Dr. Schwartz and I, we thank you for your support in funding our cancer research project. It's been very helpful. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. We're at the point now where our funds are getting low and we need another $180 million to continue our research. So you're looking for my financing on this project? We would love your financing on this project. So greed is good. Mr. Hughes, we're here to ask only for your support to keep our cancer research program afloat. And we're asking you for your support again. 
for you to pledge on behalf of many millions of people that you can help. We are this close to finding a cure. Almost doesn't count unless you're playing horseshoes or throwing hand grenades. How's that little thing I heard about with Spectre up in space that uh, I'd like to hear more about? You're talking about the chip? Yes, the chip. Is that a possibility? When we know it's safe, we'll definitely present it to you. I've, I've got reports that it is safe. It's not, not. Not by our standards. No. Or our testing. Dr. Schwartz had just given a lecture at the, at the college. But I understand that the virus has already entered the United States. I'm sorry, what virus are we speaking about? Well, I have my sources. My resources tell me that the virus is already here and that the vaccine is not ready. Virus? Well, we are fighting uh, a cancer treatment. What, uh, what sort of virus are you, are you referring to? I'm talking about the E19 virus. Is oh. that another one of your viruses? Do you know I lost 1.2 million people because I didn't have an antidote? Mr. Hughes, I thought Dr. Schwartz and I were very clear that we were not going to get involved in any man-made or fixing any man-made viruses that you and your team overseas creates to benefit your pockets. We have a problem. The virus is not responding to the 3M vaccine. We gave you the M3 vaccine that we came up with, which kills any virus, any organic matter is killed by this vaccination. Did it not work? No, we lost 1.2 million people. It's impossible. That's impossible. That is a safeguard approach vaccine that kills any virus. How could it not work? Give us the sample of the infected blood or the tissue matter, and we will start to conduct some research on it. I had it flown in this morning on my G5, right here. Everything you need is in that case. This is a secured sample. Absolutely secured. It's all there. That should be enough. And this is a sample of the infected. Absolutely. We'll run some tests on this uh, tonight, Mr. Hughes. And hopefully we'll be able to create a vaccine. I would love you gentlemen to stay for dinner, but as you can see, I'm very busy. Waldo will see you out. Waldo. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Waldo? Yes, absolutely. This way, gentlemen. Lisa, seriously, it's not funny. Are you down here? Where are you? Lisa? 
Lisa. Seriously. Seriously, Lisa, this isn't funny. Where are you? Seriously, where are you? This isn't funny. Lisa, Lisa, that is not the flu. Lisa, Lisa, what's wrong? You have to help her. I don't know what else to do. If you could just clean her wound. I don't know what you want me to do. I I just can't. I can't get infected. We need to No, leave. that's why I tied her up. To protect her from herself so she won't hurt me and I can take care of her. Don't you understand? You have to help her. You... What can you do? Do I something. Know. I don't know what you want me to do. I want you to clean her wounds. I can't have me and my mother get infected. You need to send her to quarantine. That is what you need to do. You can't have her tied up right now. I'm not sending my daughter to quarantine. There's gonna be a cure, and I'm gonna be here when there is one, and she's gonna be okay, and she's gonna be fixed. You're in medical school. There must be something you can do. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to lose my daughter. Gail, Gail, we have to go, Gail. We have to go. I have to take her away. Oh,
It's a severe disease which has a high case fatality rate, even with the best of care. And we are live once again where hospital officials are warning people that if you are experiencing vomiting, dizziness, or forgetfulness, to check yourself into the hospital immediately. This is a very contagious virus, and if you see anyone who is sick, do not come in contact with them. Isolate them if they have any symptoms and stop the chance that Dr. they will infect other people. Alan. This just in, Red Cross is evacuating houses and setting up... Alan, have you seen the news? No, I haven't. I've been at the lab since about 5 o'clock this morning. It's starting. This is no coincidence. What do you mean? We just got the blood sample last night. Look, I need you to meet me at the Red Barn. Bring some of X Factor vaccines and serums. Bring whoever is willing and able to meet us at the Red Barn. And here in New Haven, it's no different. In New Haven, police officers. Okay, take care of your family, then I'll meet you there later. Now you will be seeing two officers per patrol car. That is the new protocol here. Now, state lawmakers in New York are also proposing changes. Police cars should be retro. What took you so long? Shut up here. What the hell is going on? I just, I just killed my sister. It wasn't your sister. My mother didn't come home from work. These things are different. These things changed. Like monsters. This is real. I can't believe this is real. It's like a nightmare. Yeah. We could go up this hill. I mean... Well, what if the National Guard's at City Hall helping no, people out? No, 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 no. It's probably good, the police. The police? Do you know what the police are doing right now? They're saving themselves. I saw a cop run over a little girl just to get his ass out of here. If we're out here in the open and keep talking and arguing, we're going to eventually become one of them, OK? I think we should go. If we go to the forest, and if we get on the main road, we can get to the countryside faster. Yeah, yeah, that might that might actually work. Maybe. We have to go now. That's a long walk, guys. It doesn't matter if it's a long walk. We have to get to safety. Yeah, but what about food and water? Food and water, we can deal with that later. Now let's go. Come on. My cell phone. My crew, my crew has just been attacked by the same people infected with the E19 virus. I'm advising anyone who is not sick to find the safe. We have been lied to. This virus is airborne, and we cannot. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Have you been bit? No, no. Get it quick. Where are you guys coming from? We just came down from down the road. Did you go home yet? <sighs> yeah. Your mother, your father, your family, how is it? Are they okay? My mom's dead. My sister's dead. I don't know where mine are. Guys, my name is Joel. I'm a research scientist. Specialize in biology and advanced chemistry. I'm also an expert in vaccines for infectious diseases. I'm going to take you someplace safe. Okay. What? Wait, what is this? What's going on? I'm sorry, gentlemen. What we have and what we're dealing with is something you've never seen before. It's very contagious, and it's a man-made virus. Maybe. So in this point in time, there's absolutely no cure for it. 
evil people, selfish individuals in this world looking to gain fortune and power made this disease. The infected do not have any platelets in their blood, so they can't stop the clotting of the blood, and this is the reason why they're biting other individuals who are living. You're not safe here, none of you. There's a barn up at the top of the hill that me and some colleagues use for testing, agriculture, environmental stuff. No one ever goes up there, it's secluded. I'm going to drop you three off until we find out what's going on. Does this mean that we're infected too? You're not infected, you haven't been bitten. And you know, you would know if you were infected the first five minutes. You would start to experience lightheadedness, dizziness, vomiting, bleeding. How do you know her? Do you think you know her, or you really know her? I certainly don't even know her. No, I know. I have to see All right, well, that was the question, is what happens if she's been bitten and she's infected? Please, All right, I'll just get out of this car. Right, you no, Josh. Josh! Josh! Come here. Come on. We have to go. We have to go. Oh, my God. She's dead. Guys, are you all right? Just want to go home and find my mother. My mom never came home from work. You can't go back. I have to. You can't go back. This is hard for everyone, but I got to tell you, and be as straight up as I possibly can, there is no going back. If they were bit, if they were hurt, they're infected. You go back there, you'll be infected too. Make any sense. Look, at my calculations, if I'm correct, three quarters of this entire world is infected by now. We have to go back. Maybe my mother isn't dead. I have to check again. This can't be happening. This is what we have to do. I have to collect my thoughts. We have to go to the Red Barn. I'm going to meet a team of scientists there. We'll decide what we're going to do. We're going to stay put get some rests, and let me think about this. Everybody stay close. Hey, Josh, can I have a word with you for a second, please?
Josh, we don't know each other, but I'm a highly regarded biologist. And I have an idea that may save your life and the lives of many millions of people. It's dangerous. I would need your help with it. But with your help, I believe that you can deliver something to some place where I need it to go. Okay. Don't say okay. Don't say you're willing to do it because it sounds fun and it's going to be great. You're going to be responsible for hopefully saving the planet. Even if you get through this, and I'm not saying that you will, you may die. There's going to be changes. You will not be the same person you were before you got the injection. And I want you to understand that. I need you to understand it because I may not be around when you come back. Talk it over with your friends. Doesn't she play beautifully? But you wouldn't appreciate that.
Hey. Yeah. You okay? Uh, we gotta go. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Freaking kids. Hi, I'm Josh Piquel. Um, this is the last world testament for the E19 virus. I'm with some scientists that believe that they have the cure for the virus. Are uh, you guys ready? Okay, let's be clear on a couple of things again. Let's go over it, shall we, Doctor? Yes. Now, you'll be injected with two forms of fluids that will be in your system. One is our microchip. And the microchip, this gives you the ability to warp uh, in and out of zones but it's manned and powered through our safe house which ultimately controls the warp you'll have no control of it at any time you'll just warp out of a situation and you're gonna feel a little dizzy you'll feel a little sick it'll take you from one place to another dr schwartz do you want to start them with the chip injection yes who's first this will only hurt a bit oh now it does burn a little bit ah. but it'll go away ah. This will burn for just a second. Uh, Who's next for the microchip? Let me reload. Will this be Here you the armor boy? Right. <sighs> OK. Children often go unnoticed, while adults have a certain odor that can be detected by the infected. This virus can kill you immediately change you into sort of a walking corpse. The next injection is a vaccine for the virus. Once you get this injection, you can no longer catch the virus that's out there. In the end of 24 hours, your goal is to reach the safe house with this, these two vials that we have. You're gonna get one and you get the other. Carry those safely to the safe house. First injection. Okay. Let me explain to you a little bit before you go. Doctor, you count us down to a minute. In a minute, you'll experience your first warp. Make sure that you grab your jackets. Everything that you have in your hand and on you will warp with you. Okay, you will all warp together. You're all synchronized to the same system, controlled by the safe house. Your goal is to bring the vaccine to the safe house. Now, I can't guarantee your safety along the way. You will experience people who are infected, and they're different from these video games that you might have experienced or played uh, before. This is real life, boys. This is real life. Get to the safe house, boys. We're depending on you. By you delivering this vaccine, you may save humanity. Ready, boys? Yes, sir. Yes. Good luck. Good luck. Doctor. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Where, where are we? Oh, oh my leg. Does anyone else feel that? Yeah. The scientist. He said something about, about going through time. Warping. He called it. Oh, this is cool. No. This is real. My mom is dead. Everyone on my block is dead. I need to find my brother. Your brother, Josh. We're not going back. My entire family's dead. I had to kill my father to save my life. He went after my mother and my sister. I wasn't gonna be next. Oh, the color of his skin. The blood coming from his eyes. You just wanna go home and forget about it. Home? Peter. Your parents are dead. Your whole family is dead. Everyone on your block is dead. Everyone you know is dead. You have to get these vials to the safe house. My leg is better. It's fine. This all looks familiar to me. My mom took me to a park around here. She told me to stay away from some creepy old barn. That must be the safe house. Are we gonna use these powers for the greater good to save humanity? We could be all what's left of humanity. The question is, are we gonna make it out alive? We have to. Maybe you should take the chance. Let's go. What have you done? I injected three children with what I feel is the vaccine for the virus. I've also injected them with the microchip. They experienced their first war. You had no night. right to do this. You should have consulted us first. I did it, Michael. Okay, take a look around. Do you see it? Do we're out of choices here? You've jeopardized. Everything that we have worked on. And what do you think will happen when our water supply is contaminated? Our food chain is totally wiped out. Do you plan to live forever? Take a look around you. It's just a matter of moments before the virus even finds us here. How could you have done that without talking to us? I mean, giving three children this, this vaccine without even consulting us and, and, and giving them the chip. You know our friends didn't want us to use that chip. Mark, our friends are not going to help us on this. Believe me when I tell you. They want nothing to do with what happens here on Earth. Okay? And plus, I didn't think I needed a board meeting to determine whether or not that I felt I had a cure for the vaccine or at least something that slowed it down so that the kids could get the virus and the vaccine to the safe house, which is where it's got to go. I so I made an executive decision here. I made an executive decision, and I went with it. I mean, I know your intentions were good, but what's going to happen to these poor kids? I mean, what, what is their life going to be like? I mean, look what's happening to them now. What's going to happen? Jake, what did you do? What did you do? These three kids know the consequences for their actions. They know the dangers that they're in. I explained it to them. But you know, we all agreed that we don't even know if they're going to survive the first warp. They have survived the first warp. Dr. Sports and I were there. They experienced the first warp. They're under the weight gain that they need to be in. They're under the age bracket. Everything is perfect. They fit the criteria for the warp to work, and it has worked, and it will work. I am confident of it. But Jake, why? Why did it have to be three children, Jake? It should have been any, but if it was going to affect one, couldn't it have been one for now, Jake? Why do we have to lose three children? These kids are different. Their friendship is pure and strong. And when you have a friendship and a love like that for each other, you will do anything. These kids believe 
that they can add to this cause. And they will give their life to make sure that that antidote gets to the safe house. Besides, all of you know, they would have never survived the night anyway. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? You, you got some blood on your... You! Come here! You! Come here! What are you doing in my house? We walk here. What are you doing in my house? Get your hands off! What was that? I don't know. You, you didn't even touch him. Well, I don't know. I saw you cut yourself on the microscope. Thanks, Bob. Oh, this is upsetting. This is the best I could do. We don't have a pharmacy in there. You know that. on that damn microscope. Well, you're upset. I never do things like that. It's very stressful. It's been a very long day. A couple days here. Thanks, Bob. You'll be all right. Thanks. You know, this is an incredible situation here. We're putting the, putting the world's faith in the hands of three young kids here. It's over, Bob. We can't think that way, though, Karen. We can't think that way. It's over. We have to believe. If humanity is going to continue to exist, we have to believe that this is going to work. I know it's absurd to think that three young children are going to pull us through this, but we have to believe. What other choice do we have, Karen? We have to believe. If we could just get back to the original laboratory, I have some stuff there that we need. You want, to, you want to tell Karen? Okay, I'll tell the guys, but Karen just cut herself. Uh, she was working on the microscope and she cut her hand. Where is she? Look, she's right over here. Right over here. No, look, she can't, she can't be out there. What do you mean? No, no, she can't. She can't go outside. What, what's she's the problem? Cut. What? She can't go outside. She's well, cut. She's, Get her she's, back right, in she's here. right over here. Get her back in okay. here. Get her back in here now. Mark, we'll be in a second.
We gotta pack up and leave here. We have to get out of this location. We're gonna take some side streets. We'll grab the vials, all the equipment that we have, whatever we're up to, and we're gonna head to the safe house. Sounds like a good plan. They've got Karen. They've got the others. I don't know where to go. They're everywhere. Everyone's around there. They've got them all. All right, let's get out. Oh my! Come on, let's go. We gotta get out and go now. Time. Well, you have no time to stop. Well, you gotta, come on, well, you gotta, we gotta go. go back at the others. The others are still back there, man. They're dead. Don't you understand? understand. Hey, we gotta get the others. I'm gonna go find Ma. the safe. I'm going back to Ma. the safe. Listen. We got the others back there. I can't carry your big ass. Ma. I can't do it anymore. Ma, but the you others are back there. We gotta go back get the me. others, Ma. I gotta go. Ma, Ma. we gotta go get the others, Ma. Ma! I don't believe you left me! Ma! Come back! Ma! Come on back, Ma! No! No! Ma! Ma! Come back, I'm scared! Ma, come back here. Ma, come back here. Ma, where are you? Ma, come back. Ma, don't leave me here by myself. Why do we keep working so close to where you live? No, I guess the chip's connected to me. You were the first one to go. Maybe that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna go sit down. I'm tired. Here. Well, Peter, 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 come here. We can't keep sitting down anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. Who put you in charge? I'm sorry. Have you seen the world now? It's been taken over by the infected. It's a freaking zombie apocalypse out there. Yeah, so we should rest while we can. No! We have to keep on moving. If we stay here, another one of our members will die. Really? So you don't have faith in us? No, I don't. What's that over there, guys? Like, that thing. <laughs> Are those that guy's intestines? Oh my god, how does that even happen? <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I wish I could take a picture of- Griffin! You think everything's a joke nowadays? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to ignore the fact that the world's going to the, hell. No, we are in the new world. That is the past world. That is the old one. We are not in that anymore. I can't live if I can't have fun. No, that's not how it's going to work from nowadays. These things will find us and kill us if yeah. we don't stop it, okay? I don't care what you guys think if you guys want to sit around and do anything you want and just rest. But we're in a world where there is no rest. A world where it's called survival. No. I'm pretty sick and tired of this. I don't know about you guys.
What are you guys doing on my property? Stop! Nobody's gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you at all. This Stay is my right house. there! Stay back! Stay! Looks like you've seen a little action. What's going on? You got weapons, you got blood on it. You don't know what's going on? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know what's I'm this is my world here. I'm here by myself, me and my wife. People have turned. They're eating each other, they're killing everyone. The whole world's gone to hell. The whole world's gone. Not over here. This is my house. Everything is nice and clear here. We Whatever. don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know you. It's three against one. I'm here. My hands are up. You guys got weapons? What do I got? Dinky knife. What's that knife? That knife is for rabbits so I can eat. I don't care what's going on. This is my life here. My wife and I have been here for 40 years. Why don't you let her go make a sandwich for you? We'll bring them over to you, some water, some sandwiches, then you can be on your way. Sir, do you know where the walking farm is? Yeah, it's down the road a piece, about five miles down that way over there. It'd be easy to get to you over there. All right, why don't you come on over? Or you, you sit here, my wife and I will bring the food over to you. All right? Okay? I don't trust this guy one bit. I trust him. Why not? Anyone that's nice enough to give us food and shelter and supplies deserves our trust. I mean, take a look at... Seeing that this world has gone to? Take a look at this place. 
It's too, it's too peaceful. Josh, we could be a hundred miles out of town. I know that, but... You know there's nothing but farmland after Newport. No, no. This, this is too... It's... There's just something not right about this place. I... I can't tell. Josh, shut up and eat the sandwiches this guy's gonna give us. <laughs> How do we even know that he's gonna give us sandwiches? I think our next walk is gonna be around five, ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, true. Yeah. We're not going to be here any longer, whether or not he wants to keep us here. Um, it's too quiet. I mean, you guys all saw what happened out there, yeah. right? Of course. Yeah. I, I can't even hear any, any of them. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. Out in the country. What was up with that knife? He hunts rabbits. Rabbits? rabbits? This is an open farm. There's no rabbits around oh. here. Yes, there are. <laughs> We're in the forest. Yeah. Come on. Do you guys, do you guys see that up? Do you see that? No. No. That it's right behind the red the red low ladder. A stone wall. No, no, no. Josh, boxes. don't be nosy. I'm gonna take a look. Josh, don't be nosy. Come on, Josh. Whether or not there's still laws, this is private property. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I told you there was something about this guy. You were right. Look, the blood on the floor, the heads, the girl. Mommy, help! 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 <laughs> but at least, at least we'll let her go. I don't think we should do that. No, she no. could be infected. Look at those scars on her eyes. Yeah, but maybe he was that guy. Yeah. Weird old guy. Maybe he's not even bringing us sandwiches. He's not gonna kill us. Shut up with the sandwich. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? I didn't tell you to be over here. I told you to wait over there. Making sandwiches with that? Remember I told you I was gonna get rabbits? Her name is Rabbits. Funny. You invite people to your house. You say you're gonna get them sandwiches and water, but you send them to them. You threaten them with a butcher knife? You're gonna kill people, you tie them up? You guys are kids, I don't care. what you do. You don't care? You kids, I don't care. All right, let's see what happens when you care about this. And you're gonna remember me. Safe house is just down the road. Griff, how's your arm? It's better. It's healed up. Great. Um, how many vials do we have? Mine's gone. Are you serious? You had one job. I'm sorry. I was rolling around there with her. I almost... She almost killed me. I... It's probably shattered in my pocket somewhere. Ugh. I'm an idiot. That could have brought our family back together. Nothing is bringing our families back. Get that through your head. So then what are we gonna do? Just give up? Get eaten? Die? Walk his corpses? I don't think so. What I think is that we're gonna get these files and bring them to the safe house and save humanity. Yeah, right before we warp to Florida, right when we're about to get to the safe house. It's not it's that easy. It's still worth a shot. We have to do this. If not, who else? What's that? Oh, God, not again.
Safe house is so close. Almost there. We got this. High formation, people, just like in the academy. I'm gonna go Josh, ahead. Get back here now! Josh, you don't know what's out there! We're still looking Where for Where are we survivors. going? We should go to the car! Not until we fight! Josh, look out behind you! Take him, take him! <laughs> He's just been bit. No, what do you mean? no, no. We don't know what's listen, causing listen. this. He could be okay. No. I promise you. He's, he's not... brand new. Okay. We could get him home. We could get him help. Come on, man. Let's no. just pick him up. Come listen, on. Listen. So what are we going to do? You know what we have to do. No. 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 Why'd you do that? We Why'd to. you do that? We have to. What are you going to risk everything? Yes, we for one of us. For one of us. No. We all stick together. No. That was the plan. We are sticking together. No. You know what we we're have to do. We're supposed to look out for our own. We are looking out for our own. We got to go, man. How could you do this, man? He took his gun at no. least. Don't get close to him. We don't know if this stuff is contagious or not. You take the orders from me from now on. Now let's move. And we'll talk about this later. I'll let your family know, buddy. Just like that, huh? Just like that. No more ammo, no more bullets, no more killing for you. We all gotta get out of here together, all right? We all gotta calm down right now. What are we supposed to do with him now? You saw what he did, he pointed the gun at me. One of our own. What am I gonna do? trying to survive here. He's not coming with us. We, we came here together, we He's all have to protect her. Look out right behind you! Oh my god, no! Ah, get out of here! You gotta go! Come on! You gotta get out of here! Ah, ah.
Josh. Josh, where's Peter? I don't know. Peter! Peter! Look, stop worrying about him now. He's not with what us. What do you mean, don't worry about this? He's been with us from the start. He's our friend. He's not here. That's so all what? Can't just act like it's not. Can't just act. Peter. The scientist said we'd work together. How did this happen? Well, the only way that he probably couldn't work with us if he was if he was infected or if the microchip was not in him. That's the only way. He hasn't left my sight since we left our houses. Well, maybe he hid the bit. Maybe we didn't see it. Maybe he just didn't want us to execute him. Oh, no, 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 no. Griffin, no, no, remember no, the game no. plan. Remember the game plan. What game plan? We're just trying to survive here. Nothing no, to it. No, that's the point. The game plan is to survive. Keep going. If one of us is down, we keep on moving. Okay? Remember your dad? Remember your sister? My mother? They're dead now, but we have to keep going. Okay? You don't know what happened with my sister. Don't touch me. Look, I know he was your friend and all, but we have to keep going. I mean, he was my friend too, okay? But the world is shit now. Okay, we can't we can't god, do it anymore. Oh my god. Okay? We have to keep going. Alright? I got three bodies down. It's just me right now. Are you there? Get behind. Please don't move! Stay right there! Hold up, don't shoot! Don't shoot us. Don't you know shoot. we're not infected. We just want to get to the safe house and that's it. We, we were sent by some scientists. Here. Don't shoot, we're friendly, we're not infected. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I just lost three of my best men out there. I got this girl who hasn't said a word since I met her, and now I got you two guys. So why don't you tell me a little bit what's about going on? Well, we're just heading to the safe house. We were kidnapped by a scientist who implanted us with an experimental drug no, that he thinks no. is the key to solving all this. No, what we can do, we have like special abilities. We can have we have special powers. I like we can warp out of thin air and Whatever you're on, whatever you're doing, you're with me. I pretty much promised I was gonna get everybody to safety. I've only got about three rounds left. Wait, it's not. Hold on. That's one of the scientists. He's one of the scientists. Yep. Oh no. Guys, get down now! Get down! Stop! Police, don't move! Police, don't move! Oh shoot! Jeez. Is he dead? No. No time to find out. Look at all of these. How did we miss this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, before anybody starts grabbing anything normally. Kids and guns. Oh, sorry, officer. You're going to give us a lesson on firearm safety? Yeah, I am. Don't shoot yourself in the face with one, OK? You take that. Everybody knows how to work a gun, right? Yeah. I was raised with an M9 in my hand. Make sure the safety's off. Don't point out anything that you don't want to shoot, OK? Officer, there's a radio. That's better, a toy. Better. Answer or not? That's a toy, is right. Well. We could already, usually by the time we see them, they're already on us. So, all right, grab that AK. Any ammo? Shh. Oh, yeah. No. Go. Run. Run. I'll hold them up as best I can.
I'm not really too sure how safe this safe house is. We're running out of everything, guys. We're running out of water, food, everything. We won't last a couple more days down here, and there's no way of catching this virus. Well, listen, we control who teleports in and out, so we've got to uh, make sure that we don't let any of these deadheads get in here and hold them off for at least two more days, a day or so, and we're good. The guys are coming right now with the vials. So just keep anything you see coming, you know what to do. Blast it. So when's this vaccine coming? Well, my understanding is Dr. Kirchheimer, he's injected three kids with this stuff. So uh, we're going to catch these kids. They're teleporting around like I don't know what. But we're going to catch these guys. And we're going to distill this stuff that they've got running through their bloodstreams. We're going to make it into an antivirus. For now, we're just going to use it for ourselves. Because you know what? We're the last line of defense. It's up to us to stop these things. So we've got to stay healthy. Okay? So we're going to catch these teleporting kids. Today, tomorrow, they should be here. And we're going to make this antivirus. And we're going to stay alive. So be on your P's and Q's. If you see anything, take it out. Take it right out. Just watch carefully. All right? Unfortunately, even if these three kids do make it here in a reasonably one piece, they're not going to last long. I don't know what this doctor injected them with, but it's a dual thing. It's like a chip and a virus, and it's really taking a toll on these guys. It's, it's tearing them up. But all they have to do is make it here, and we can save this planet. And that's all I know. That's it. That's what it's come down to. That's it. That's come down to us, our guns, and our will. That's it. Looks like we got to do what we got to do. Yeah. That's it, so get ready. Hold up, don't shoot! That's a close shot on the guy. Short searches for the file. Stay down. Open up! Keep going. Don't open that door yet. Who's there? Open up! Step away from the door. Oh my God! Come on! Ben! I need some men here right now! Ben! Oh my God! Why can't I move? Just sit still. Don't move a muscle. We are fixing you. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my arms. I can't move. What's happening? You have been butchered. Over 11 broken bones and major internal bleeding. Where am I? Where's Peter and Griffin? Griffin? Easy. His vitals are over 10Z. Prepare the transfusion. Did I make it to the safe house? Did I stop the virus? Something like that. Where did you get the chip? Who gave it to you? The scientists, Dr. Kirschheimer and Dr. Schwartz. The world's gotten really, really bad. <laughs> I was walking home from school the day it all started. I went through my house and I found my mom laying on the floor, dead. I went outside and saw my neighborhood in ruins. My friends Peter and Griffin found me and we ran for safety. Dr. Kirschheimer picked us up in a car and took us to his lab. At the lab was Dr. Schwartz. They injected us with a vaccine and a chip. The vaccine to protect us from the virus and the chip from, to move from place to place. To 
think it's the same house. The chip brought you here. The chip is still active, but we stabilized the warp thing. I just want to go home. You are home. I delivered the vial to the safe house. I did my job. I'm done. I'm finished here. We will remove the chip and summon your body into space. What? Discard you piece by piece. There is no use for you. You are obsolete. Just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. Just the thought of you, the very thought of you.